Now it is my honor to introduce Denver Police Recruit Class 21-2, Sergeant Quinones. At this time, will you please stand, if you're able, for the presentation of the colors by the Denver Police Honor Guard. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Order. Please remain standing for the invocation delivered by Denver Police Chaplain Erica Fletchinger. Please join me in bowing your heads for a moment in prayer. Father God, we thank you for allowing us to come together today to congratulate these 19 men and women as they become officers for our Denver Police Department. We give thanks for the endurance these individuals maintain through Academy and for all the people that supported them and sacrificed on their journey to becoming police officers. Thank you for the Academy staff and the instructors who dedicated themselves to teaching and for your faith in these officers. We stand before you, Lord, knowing these officers are ready and willing to do your work. We ask you to give you, these individuals courage to conquer fears, strength of body to protect others, strength of spirit and integrity to lead others. We ask for them to have dedication to do their job, to do it well, and dedication to our community to keep it safe. May you use them as the sword or the shield and give them compassion for those who need them. Lord, most of all, we ask that you be beside these men and women as they serve, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. On behalf of the Denver Police Department, recruit class 21-2, welcome. This is a long awaited moment for our 19 new officers and fire investigator. The department wishes to thank you the families and friends of Recruit Class 21-2, who lent your love and unfailing support through this rigorous process. We recognize that this was a demanding period in your daily lives, and we appreciate your support. So on that, thank you very much.
At this time, I'll invite Executive Director of Safety, Armando Saldati, to address our recruit graduates and guests. So thank you all, thank you all the dignitaries and folks and command staff that are here today. But thank you especially to the families uh, and the recruits. Um, this is really a special and joyous day. Uh, it reminds me in 1993, I, I was lucky enough to graduate from a police academy um, to this day and, and is one of my most vivid memories. And one day that I still carry with me, I remember the pride and enthusiasm that I had that day. I remember vividly my dad pinning the badge on me. Um, he was someone that wore the badge uh, prior to me. Um, I remember also that sense of responsibility that that badge carries. Um, it really affirmed all the hard work and it was a sense of accomplishment. Um, I know when you all made the decision to join the Denver Police Department and Denver Fire Department uh, for our fire investigator, I know it wasn't one that you all took lightly. I know that this, especially in the times that we face today, um, emerging from this pandemic and all the trauma that our, our country and, and the world has been through these past couple of years, I know it had to be an especially difficult decision, um, one that I'm sure weighed upon you and your loved ones. Um, thank you to all your families, the support, um, all the encouragement that you gave to these recruits to get them to this point, to get them to be able to serve, to serve our great city, to serve the diverse city that we have, and, and to help protect us in the time when your service is needed so badly. Your help and, and what you represent to those folks that are out there answering the calls today is one of relief that help is on the way. Um, they've been very stretched then through this pandemic and through all the challenges we've faced. And you and your smiling faces and your enthusiasm will be well received when you come down there. I want to especially thank the Academy staff that trained these individuals. They prepared them. They're preparing you for everything that you will face. You are going to see tragedy. You're going to see adversity. You're going to see people at their worst of times. You're not going to feel appreciated at times. You're going to be cussed at, spit at, shot at, assaulted. It's a tough line of work. But I know that each and one of you are driven, that you're driven by this calling. The valiant and honor of this, the valiant and honor of this profession is what drives you. And I really admire that you are now helping our city and, and answering the call when our city needs it most. So I appreciate you. I appreciate your family. Welcome to the public safety family. Know that the loved ones, friends, and family and the support system for our, our recruits and now soon to be officers, um, they're gonna need your help, love, and support through all the adversity they're going to face. They're gonna face good times and bad. You're gonna make mistakes. We make them often. After nearly three decades in this, in this career, I still make mistakes, but learn from them, better yourself, um, and just always do what's right. Um, you, have, you have had some of the best training that is provided in any department in this country. I've had the ability to see many training systems and, many, and work with many police departments across this country, and I can tell you uh, this is one of the best out there. So please, uh, my prayers are with you. You have our support. You have my support of my office and my staff for anything that you need. We will make sure that you have all that you need to be safe and, and healthy throughout your career. Focus on your wellness. Um, if you're in crisis, you can't help folks in crisis. You're gonna make friendships, and I'm sure you've made friendships with each other um, that will last you a lifetime. I still uh, keep almost uh, daily in touch with folks I went to the academy with uh, back in 1993. Um, rely on each other, rely on your experiences and learn. Um, I really uh, wish you all the best. I wish you safety in all that you do. Thank you for, take, for make, answering the call, and I appreciate it. Dave. Thank you, Director Saldati. And now, Chief Pazin would like to share his words of encouragement with the graduating recruit officers. Thank you, Executive Director Saldate. Uh, really, I want to focus on those two words for a little bit here. Uh, the thank you. Thank you to the family for the families for supporting these women and men uh, during this uh, six and a half month journey. Certainly wasn't easy. 
Thank you to the Academy staff for all of the uh, extra work, extra effort that you have given to help uh, form these future uh, Denver police officers. I also want to thank the mayor and city council. See, this is a special class. This class was added. It wasn't part of the original budget process for 2021. Uh, the mayor and city council recognized that we uh, had significant challenges with public safety and that we needed to help uh, the officers that are out on the street. And uh, the net result is the 18 women and men uh, here for the Denver Police Department and the one uh, arson investigator. So when we're talking about special class, this is a, a special opportunity and it's a special responsibility. I'm very excited to see what you all do as you move forward throughout your careers. Now, I want you also to remember why, why you were driven to this uh, profession, because I think that talks about the special nature of what you're made of. Certainly would be a lot easier to take a whole different career path but the fact that you care about our community, that you have a big heart, and that you wanted to see it through during some very difficult times. You see, it's probably never been more difficult to be a police officer in our country, in our city, but it's also never been a more important time. And the fact that you knew that coming in and that you're still here, I wanna say thank you Thank you for your dedication, for your spirit. Now, you're probably not gonna to remember too many of the words that were said at your graduation, but you are gonna remember how you feel. And how you feel is that pride. And I want you to take that pride with you in every single thing that you do. In how you interact with our community, on how you interact with each other, and how you do this noble work. So. I got just a little bit of advice, and it's real simple. Work hard, work smart, and treat people right. If you do that, you're gonna be successful. Let me end by saying thank you. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for seeing it through. Thank you for graduating today. Thank you to the women and men that continue to do this work, your brothers and sisters that are out there uh, on the street right now. Thank you, stay safe. We have several awards for outstanding achievement to present today. And Director of Training, Lieutenant Michelle Fulmer, and Class Supervisor Sergeant, Virginia Quinones, will present the awards now. Good morning. Thank you all for being here to sh today to share in this extremely special and happy day. My name is Michelle Fulmer, and I am the Director of Training here at the Denver Police Academy. I had the honor to receive that baton from now Commander Kim Bowser, who was my predecessor. I wanted to acknowledge all the great work that she and the entire Academy staff have performed. In the six weeks that I've been here, it has been a great privilege for me to see this class come together through challenges, hard work, dedication, sweat, and a few tears. But I'd like to think that they are now tears of joy. Joy to be a part of the Denver Police Department family. Joy to be one team, same team. Same team that serves and protects our same family, our community. I'm proud of you, and I know you're gonna go out there and continue to do great things and be amazing people. Before we present the awards for our top recruits, I want to introduce our recruit class sergeant, Virginia Quinones. Good morning. To the family, loved ones, and friends of our recruits, we want to say thank you. Thank you for taking this journey with us. It has been a long six months, not only for them, but for you as well. To class 21-2, I want to say thank you. Thank you for pursuing this career during a time that some may not be quite so eager to put on the uniform and the badge. I would like to say, hold your head high, be proud, 
as you take the oath to protect and serve the citizens within your community. Go out and represent not only the Denver Police Department, but law enforcement officers everywhere to the very highest of standards. And may you always have that same pride over the years that I have carried with me for the last 34 years. God bless and be safe always. And at this time, I'd like to introduce Denver District Attorney Beth McCann and invite her to the stage to present the award for highest score on our law test. Thank you. Thank you very much. And um, thank you to all of you for being here today. I'm Beth McCann, the district attorney here in Denver. And this is always one of my favorite things that I do um, as district attorney to see our new recruits and uh, new folks that we're going to work with over the years to hold people accountable for criminal activity and to make sure that we handle the cases well in our office and work with our police department daily to um, keep this community safe. Uh, that is what you will be doing and that is probably the most important thing that the government does for its community is keep us safe. Uh, if people don't feel safe, they can't live their lives fully, they can't do their jobs well, and you are joining an excellent police department that does this every day, day in and out, and uh, serves us really well in this community. So it's a great honor to be here uh, to award, um, to present the award for uh, legal accomplishment. You know, it, it's kind of funny. Um, we teach you how to, or they teach you, not me, but they teach you how to arrest people and how to drive cars and um, do your daily duties as police officers. But we kind of also expect you to be lawyers at some level because you're making decisions on a daily basis about about uh, arrests and probable cause and do you have enough probable cause to arrest? Should you make an arrest or is it something you can solve yourselves on the street? Um, it's not easy, but we are here to support you in my office. We have deputy attorneys, uh, district attorneys on call every day, all day long, and the night too, to help you with uh, the duties that you have when you have questions. Particularly our detectives, we work with very closely on search warrants, arrest warrants, probable cause statements, and so forth. And um, you've got a tremendous command staff here that I know uh, also assist in those kind of legal decisions that can sometimes be pretty confusing. So we, um, I'm very proud to be able to recognize um, Jordan Hewitt, if you would come forward. So soon to be Officer Hewitt, um, you are getting the distinction of being the number one rank in legal education. So in recognition of your outstanding performance in the district attorney's legal education course, Congratulations on a job very well done. Have a great career. Congratulations. Now we'd like to present the DPD Academy Awards. The first award is the Academic Award. This award goes to the recruit that scored the highest on both major tests and quizzes for class 21-2. The Academic Award goes to Jordan Hewitt. Congratulations. The second award is the Overall Skills Award. This award goes to the recruit that demonstrates top performance in arrest control, driving, scenarios, and firearms. For 21-2, the Overall Skills Award goes to Brandon Bicknell. The third and final award is the Most Inspirational Recruit Award. Now this is a special award because it is voted upon by their class. The awardee is a person who motivates others emotionally, physically, 
and mentally. This person inspires others to do their best and goes above and beyond for those who are struggling. Class 21-2 has voted that the most inspirational recruit award goes to James Wisington. Congratulations. And Class 21-2 has also chosen a spokesperson to speak on their behalf. Sienna Vesa, please come to the stage. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sienna Vesa, and I've been, I'm honored to have been chosen by my classmates to present our class speech this morning. It means a lot to me because my family has been a part of the Denver Police Department since 1968. So I wanna thank you guys for choosing me and giving me this opportunity. I wanna start by thanking command staff and the Denver personnel for coming in this morning and celebrating our graduation. I wanna thank all of our family and friends for coming here today and sharing this moment. This moment is going to affect the rest of our lives and make an impact on yours. Families, I know this is both scary and exciting. You are going to be nervous and worry about your children, loved ones, partners, grandchildren, siblings, and friends. It's only natural. But take this moment to be happy, to be proud, to celebrate the huge accomplishments we all have achieved, and to reminisce on all the goals we have set and, com and completed. Take this moment to enjoy the times you have now during these normal hours because these normal hours are gonna change in just a couple of days. Be proud of the officers they have become and soon grow to be. Class 21-2, we did it. Six months of long days, early mornings, crashing cars, throwing each other on the ground, being punched in the face, some of us more than once. Six months of gaining 19 brothers and sisters and forming unbreakable friendships. And yes, that includes our firefighter. And yes, you heard me right, he is our firefighter. Sorry, Chief. <laughs> Let me take this moment to talk about Ed Jordan. I know this is a DPD graduation, but I don't think the personnel saw what he did for us as recruits, and I'd like to share it with them. Technician Jordan was our academy long class lead, even if he didn't know it. He is the guy we all went to when we needed help. He had no problem telling us we were wrong, especially when we needed it. But he also supported all of us more than anyone possibly could. Thank you, Technician Jordan, for dealing with a bunch of children for the last six months. We couldn't have succeeded in the ways we did without you, so thank you. There's another person we as a class need to mention, Officer Marcus Black. Officer Black is an officer in District 1 he has been here at the academy since day one of our class. He has been an actor in our scenarios. He has watched and supported us all as we were out on the DVOC track. He was here, there by our side every workout we had pushing himself. He got in the Velcro suit and let us shoot our tasers at him during taser training day. Officer Black has been going through this academy with us, building relationships, being our mentor. We wanna thank Officer Black for being there with us, for sharing his experiences, for sharing his story. Thank you, Officer Black, for being a role model and mentor for us all. Through these six months, we have made various memories, some we want to forget and never think about again, like being pepper sprayed and not being able to operate for a whole weekend. But most memories we will cherish, like when technician Roman told Kester that we only need to study the addresses for our last year rotation test. But when he handed out the test to a select few, you could feel, the, and the whole sheet was blank, you could feel the anxiety and hear the heartbeats pounding. Then we saw the technicians laughing as they were standing in the hallway, and we realized they were playing a prank on us. Don't worry, we all passed. When starting DVOC, which is our defensive driving course, we all came in thinking, oh, we will crush this. The youngest of us all have been driving for at least five years. How hard could it be? Well, then we realized we all like playing Pac-Man with the cones instead of staying away from the cones. For six months, we have been learning how to be a Denver police officer, but our training doesn't stop here. It goes on for another four months with our corporals by our side in FTO. Then it goes on for the rest of our career. Remember to never stop learning. 
always challenge yourself, set goals, and don't be afraid to grow from your mistakes. Class 21-2, remember to do better, as Howard would say, but also most importantly, remember, we are guardians and warriors when we need to be. Thank you. Now, with the assistance of Executive Director Saldate and Chief Pazin, we will begin our graduation badge and certificate presentation. William Kester. <laughs> Jordan Taylor Hewitt. Kristen Bowman. Sienna Vessa. Nikita Utkin. Joel Michael Stevenson. <laughs> Mia Sanchez. <laughs> Roy Chavez. Jaquan Howard the third Brandon R. Bicknell Edward Jordan the third Randall Wells. Andrew Van Bibber. Garrett Bain. Derek Ware. <laughs> Dominic Dickerson. <laughs> Truman Berger. Stephanie Silvis. <laughs> James A. Whistington. <laughs> now, the Honorable Judge Carrie Lombardi will administer the oath of office. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. Do solemnly swear by the ever living God that I will support the Constitution of the United States and of the State of Colorado and the Charter and Ordinances. Of the, of the city and county of Denver, and that I will faithfully perform, faithfully perform. The, duties of, the duties of the office of, the office of police, officer. police officer of the city and county of Denver, of county of Denver. to which I have been appointed, to which I have been appointed. and upon which I am about to enter. Congratulations. <laughs> 
Sergeant Quinones. Let us pray. Lord, let us celebrate and fill our hearts with pride and joy as a new journey begins for these new officers. Let them always know they are valued. They will be prayed for and for your safety and provision to be over them. Continue to give them wisdom in their duties and give them courage and passion for their will to serve to remain steadfast. We pray that you officers will promote justice, fight evil, defend innocent lives, and bear the weight and honor of your badge with pride. Lord, we ask for your blessing and protection for all who are here today, and that you bless these 19 men and women, and that your presence always be with them and bring them home safely after each shift. We thank you for blessing and covering and protecting our department, city, and all we stand for. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating these new officers with a well-deserved round of applause.